The most advanced way to deal with attacks is to so notice look how i'm hitting them i'm hitting i'm swinging for real at him if they get stunned you follow up to the no longer a threat hey guys thank you for checking out our youtube channel my name's sean elders i'm the founder and chief instructor of pinnacle combat arts like subscribe comment down below hit the bell so you can be notified every time there's a new video today we're going to be working on boxing hand defenses and multiple attack defenses let's get started one of the basic things that you need to understand when it comes to dealing with somebody attacking you okay is if he throws a jab at me i can catch it just like this see okay now my elbow stays close to my body okay that's very important and i just put that hand out like that okay and the other way is the parry I can also parry with the lead hand so he does the cross see that I just bump it bump it out of the way just like that okay the important other port important part when you're training this is that we're in range to hit each other okay I see on video YouTube videos all the time where people are throwing punches and they're not even close enough to actually hit them. Why are you training at a distance where you're not gonna get hit? You have to get in a range where you can hit each other, okay? So for instance, if I'm in this position, okay, and I throw a jab, he slips it, or parries it, that's what we're doing right now, parries. If he doesn't do it, look, see that? I'm hitting him. I'm close enough to hit him. So he's parrying it, boom, 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 boom. Okay, and it's the same thing with the cross. If you want to parry with that lead hand cross like that, I'm close enough to hit him. Okay, he's keeping, he's keeping it from hitting him. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you're training for real. Okay, I'm seeing this all over YouTube. I see this all the time where they're just out of range of hitting each other. Why are you doing this? You're not doing yourself any good by waiting or by keeping a distance you have to give each other the right pressure okay you have to give each other the right range okay or you're all you're doing you're not you're not doing each other any you're doing each other a disservice is what you're doing so now we do covers so ba the basic cover is if i do a hook he just covers it boom 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 so notice look how i'm hitting him i'm hitting i'm swinging for real at him okay yeah, he knows what I'm gonna do. See that? Because he's watching my body, okay? When you watch a person's body, you can see what they're doing. You learn how to, to, to see what they're doing, all right? So then you have body covers, okay? If I go to the body, he turns his body, he puts his elbow, so go ahead and turn towards them, okay? Go ahead and do it. Boom. He takes a little scoot to the left, and he puts his elbow right at where his hip is. He's protecting his rib cage. Okay, that's very important. Go ahead and do it again. Yep, just like that. That's very important. Let's do it the other side now. See that? So he's putting that elbow, keeping the hand up high, tucking his chin in, tucking his body in. So now he squares off with me, okay? And I go to the body, boom, just like that, okay? Do we start a fight like that? No, he may catch with the rear hand and then I go to the body shot, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. You see? Then we go to the other side. One, two. See that? One, two. Yep, you can parry with it. You can do whatever he wants. Let's go from the other side. So one, two. See that? One, two, one, two. You see? Notice every time I throw a punch, I bring my hand back. I throw this punch, I bring it back to my guard. Okay? You gotta throw your hands back, bring your hands back to guard super imperative this is so important if i don't bring my hand back to guard and i stay and i and i bring my hand here guess what he's gonna shoot me right in there by him knock me out okay so these are all very important principles that you need to learn the most advanced way to deal with attacks is to intercept them are you gonna intercept them every single time no 
But the idea is, is that you can train to be able to intercept some of the attacks. Why do we, so what's the effectiveness of intercepting? The effectiveness of intercepting is if I, if they start to throw a punch and I get there and hit them first, that will cause them to be stunned or knock them out, okay? And then what happens is when, they, if they get stunned, you follow up to the no longer a threat. So if I'm in this position like this, okay, and I throw a round punch and he hits me, boom, okay? It either knocks me out because he's in lead side forward, okay, strong side forward, and then I get knocked out, or it stuns me so bad that he can come forward and give me four pressure and several attacks until he knocks me out or knocks me down. This is effective. This is one of the most advanced ways to do and deal with attacks. Now, another way, so we'll start off with just a jab, okay? If I go like this, he can jab. See that? Jab, like that. If I'm in my position and I'm telegraphing, which is how it happens most of the time, if I'm going like this and I start to go, he gets me before I can get there. That's super, very awesome, okay? That is what you want for your interception. So straight, boom, like this. Straight, boom, straight, boom, straight, boom, okay? It doesn't make a difference. That is one way to deal with attacks, okay? So I'm, I'm keeping it simple today. If you were doing kicks today, you could do kicks to the groin. You could do arm catches, all that stuff, but we're not doing that today. I'm just giving you some basics, okay, of how to deal with attacks, how to avoid attacks, how to intercept attacks, okay? Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demonstrate just a little short amount, show you, I'm gonna show you a short demo of what it looks like adding in footwork as well. Okay, so that's intercepting. So let's do, let's go back to body evasion, okay? I already showed you footwork. Now he's gonna do footwork with body evasion and I'm gonna throw attacks at him. You ready? All right, let's do it. Now what's going to happen is we're going to do hand uh, defense and footwork together. So that's hand defense with footwork. That's very important. Okay, go ahead and train it. Hey guys, thank you for checking out our video today. Comment down below if you have any questions about what we covered today go to our website, PinnacleCombatArts.com. And thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.